Hello and welcome to the Bob Box. And yes, if you hear any fan noises, it's because fans are like aliens. Or technically too hot for me to wear this jacket. Anyway, I know what you're thinking. The Executioner is very definitely a name you would give an axe boot. Hopefully with a nice large blade on it. But the Executioner, spoiler alert, was never an axe boot. Originally, it was a black wedge armed with a cushion in a vertical one, but that. The first version entered Series 4 of Robot Wars, but this failed to qualify. So it became known as Peacemaker, spelled P I E C E, and entered BattleBots, had a fight, and lost. Oh well, at least it got on to BattleBots. Anyway, Ken, the BattleBots reference, the second week in a row. Why can't Ken kill it next? next? So the execution is first. Aired fight, not his first filmed fight, but his second, came in the first series of Robot Wars Extreme, where it fought a de facto genuine axe bot in Dominator 2 in a wildcard warriors battle. As this was extreme, the executioner's team elected to do some trash talking. Because this is extreme. Trash talking is a thing. The Executioner tried to press the pit release tire, but it took three attempts before it successfully managed to flip it. But that allowed Dominator 2 to catch up with them. Whilst trying to appear to get an axe by Dominator 2's Axe of Doom, the Executioner drove into the pit. At least the team captain took it well. He did find it to other music and he put it in the lip down. Don't don't worry, we I think quite a few people have driven into the pit. I have I think I might just about be able to live it down. The executioner was also in series five of Rebel Wars, despite being filmed before the Dominator 2 fight. Where it landed in L and drew second series of pyramid shaped and cutting disc wielder and pussycat, which I feel like I've talked about recently. I'm pretty sure I've talked about pussycat recently. The executioner managed to grab hold of pussycat early on and took the second series of pyramids before letting pussycat go. So pussycat went on the attack. Pussycat's repeated attacks sent the executioner to dead metal. The executioner got out for the end with the attack and tried to attack Pussycat's end with the head head all in collision. But Pussycat was having none of this, it also went on the attack, hence the head on collision. And attacked the executioner some more. The end result was the executioner by a wall way too close to Matilda. It got hit. In fact, it got hit probably on the worst part of the robot, it got hit on the weapon. And as a result, the executioner became a weaponless wonder. So Pussycat, having an attack of mercy, opened the pit and shoved the executioner in. That's actually not a mercy wonder because it meant that the executioner wouldn't suffer any further punishment by the house robots. After the executioner missed the Series 6 qualifiers, it returned to Series 7 as a grey property with vertical spinner. Yeah, I know, not an axe, a vertical spinner. It landed in Heat 10 where it drew horizontal spinner top bot, crusher ROCS, and flipper raging knightmare. The executioner went to rocks early on before landing a hit on top bot that actually removed top bot's spinner. Just clean up. So the executioner went after rocks but couldn't land a blow in on the cushion. The dispatch a big enough. Meanwhile, Raging Nightmare opened a deep pit. 
Roxton tried to attack the executioner, but it too could not land a blow. Probably fearing the other two was the better spin. Then the executioner, like, in between shots, he damaged, got hammered by a headless Mr. Psycho. So the executioner was counted out, picked up, and pitted. Top bot ended up going out as well, but he at least listened to the judges. To be fair on the executioner, the battle was not long away from going to the judges. Now, the executioner was rebuilt ahead of this episode series 8. However, series 8 did not happen for another 12 years. So the executioner just didn't return. It's with two different teams since then. Whether it, it fights, I don't know. The disappointing thing about the executioner was it never had an axe. God, the name was perfect for an axe once, and they used it for a crusher which became a spinner. However, the Series 7 version with the vertical spinner did have some potential, as seen when it removed top box and disc. However, presumably its reliability laid down, and it didn't make it through round 1. Maybe if it had attacked Raging with Nightmare instead, it might have stood a chance, so, I don't know, who knows. Anyway, it is time to appeal to a geek. Are we getting kilohertz next week? Well, seeing the amount of stuff still in this box, there's a uh, very high chance it's going to be a not kilohertz. I am ready to be surprised though, I don't know. This one on this slip, so we shall see. The end suit. It's the general. Until next week, Alice and Tiffle.